Hello, this is Pete. Uh, this is in response to Judy101101. The gift of receiving. This painting has a story behind the gift of receiving. And there's a reason I received it. About 12 years ago, I had been working in one of the poorest sections in America, a place called Over the Rhine in Cincinnati, Ohio. And this painting was being used as a window prop, prop keep a window propped open on a hot day. And I drove by it, and I pulled over, and I kind of looked at him, looking out at me. And I went and knocked on the door. So the man answered the door, and I said, Do you have that painting being, I said, I really like that painting. I said, Do you have it being used as a window prop? And he said, yeah. And I said, well, how much would you want for him? And uh, he said, give me five bucks and I'll give you the painting. So I said, okay. And it's by James Coe, or no, it says James Coe on there by, I can never really, De Deval, D-E-V-A-U-L, 1991. So... I brought it home, I thought the painting was cool, hung it up on my wall. And for the last 12 years, he's been with me. Through good times and bad, he's been with me. Through my life's journey. And really, when I started getting into the arts too, when I started having, beginning to paint, I kind of would look at this painting, you know, and see how how something so simplistic can be so alive and beautiful. And that the creative aspect is in everybody. This painting means so much to me. So anyway, I came up to Wisconsin last year to just get away for a while, brought all my stuff with me. Had a smaller place and I thought, you know, let me get rid of a lot of the stuff that I had. So I had brought him, I call this painting now the gift of receiving. I brought him to Goodwill, dropped him off at Goodwill with a bunch of other stuff that I had. Well, last night, I'm walking down the street in Milton, Wisconsin. And there was this woman, it looks like she's opening up a store. So she must have assembled a lot of stuff from everywhere. And it, her and this other woman were in there and they were, they were fixing up the store on, on the strip in Milton, Wisconsin. And I was just casually taking my walk and I looked through the window and he's staring right at me. And so I knocked on the window and I said, I know all about that painting. I know all about that painting. There's a story behind it.
And so the ladies let me in, and I explained where that painting came from. And the woman looked at me and she said, this is yours. And she took it off the wall and she gave it to me. And I said, well, how much do you want for it? And she said, it's free. You just take it. It's your painting. That was a beautiful thing. It was the gift to receive. Knowing somebody knew that this painting meant a lot to me. Been through a lot with this guy. The gift of receiving. And it is good to receive, just as much as it is to give away. It's the hoop. The hoop. The hoop it has to be balanced. So, you know, to give is to receive. And through this painting, it has been so much giving and receiving through the arts and, and through just life journey. But there has to be that balance. Just as much as it is to give away, make it just as easy to receive. The gift of receiving. Anyway, just thought I'd tell the story about what happened to me last night and how the gift of receiving came into my life and I received. And now I give that story away, which is a remarkable story. It's pretty cool to all of you. Receive. The gift of receiving. You're on to something, Judy. Keep it up.